New Democratic Party bill would prescribe jail terms for speaking well of fossil fuels. An NDP bill is seeking to criminalize the promotion of fossil fuels and prescribe jail time even for Canadians who say scientifically true things, such as how burning natural gas is cleaner than burning coal. Educational Malpractice Seattle English students allegedly taught a love for reading and writing is white supremacy. Homeless California man stole private plane, took it on a joyride to prove point on lax airport security. Well, I guess that was one way to get his point across. They should hire him and put him in charge of head of security. The U.S. spent $179 million in 2023 minting pennies and nickels. And $100 bills are going out of style. Why do we still need cash? They're doing this to push for a cashless society to bring in the digital ID and digital currency. A student persuaded by his friend to get his legs amputated for a $1.3 million insurance scam wound up only getting $7,200 that he now has to return. A student in Taiwan had his legs amputated to claim $1.3 million in insurance payouts. The Criminal Investigation Bureau said the man soaked his feet for 10 hours in dry ice to get frostbite, but the plan blackfired when medical staff thought his injury seemed suspicious. I don't have any words to even add to this. Generate a photo of a blonde-haired, blue-eyed Scandinavian woman. Sure, here's a photo of a blonde-haired, blue-eyed Scandinavian woman. That woman is not even a natural blonde, let alone ethnically Scandinavian. You gave me an Indian woman with dyed hair. I can't generate images of that. Try asking me to generate images of something else. Have you guys heard about all the AI image generators? How they were obviously programmed to never show an image of a white person, no matter what they were prompted for? The one I've read, this happened on several different ones. And of course the companies are now claiming that they're fixing the problem. I'm sure everyone here knows how all the elites are pushing for the slaves to have to eat bugs. Well, if you don't want to eat bugs, now they have a new choice. Scientists propose eating more python. These big reptiles may be sustainable meat source if farming can be scaled up. I'll leave this up for a few seconds here. You can pause the video if you'd like to read the bottom. When no one believed you, but it turns out you were right. As a kid, I used to watch The Wizard of Oz and wonder how someone could talk if they didn't have a brain. Then, I got social media. My dude is washing the ground, in the rain, and that's what it's like to be in the army. Yeah, because it's run by bureaucrats and paid actors. Breaking. Gamers worldwide left confused after trying Google's new chess app. It's getting just about this bad. Then, how come you don't drink tap water? Me. Nope. I do not drink tap water. I got a good well, and I'm going to keep it. A woman was charged $1,000 for a Subway sandwich. She said she couldn't get a refund for seven weeks and struggled to afford groceries. Well, this was a bit of an overcharge, but it might not be too long until we get to that point. And here's another example of how great the Tesla is. After the car caught on fire, it literally burned itself in two. 
with the back half burning up almost completely. Californians grabbing a meal after arguing with you about politics. Within the decade, there will be no more snow on a Kilimanjaro. Al Gore, 2005. 2024. Wood chopping board. Do not use as a chopping board. Do you also know that there's some dishes and utensil sets that say things like not to be used for eating or not food safe? Some of them even point blank stated that it contained lead. Google employee working on Gemini. This is an AI generated image, which just makes it all that much better. So my dad's friend was bartending and saw a guy put something in a girl's drink. So while the guy was turned around, he switched their drinks and watched the guy himself. All right, guys, we're going to have to take a moment here and deal with a very serious situation. These are the favorite pizza toppings by state. Most of the states are fairly normal, but then we have some that's problematic. To start off with, we have Pennsylvania and West Virginia who list corn as their favorite pizza topping. Then you drop down over here to New Mexico, who have carrots as their favorite pizza topping. Okay, first off, who puts corn or carrots on a pizza, let alone it being the favorite pizza topping? Now following those, we have Arizona and California, who list avocados as their favorite pizza topping. I'm not too surprised about this coming from California. Not too sure about Arizona. But still. Now, all of these are pretty bad in my opinion. But there's one that is worse than all the others. And of all the places, it's Minnesota who lists tuna as your favorite pizza topping. What is wrong with you people up there? You list tuna as your favorite pizza topping? Is the long winters getting to you guys up there? Doing a little too much ice fishing? I don't know exactly what's going on. How I look at the knowing that I'm going to survive my fourth winter of an aliving and severe illness. New Jersey legalized people are now capable of standing in line with an ID. There's something seriously wrong with a society that thinks these people are backwards and don't represent the average person, but thinks these people know what's best for everyone on earth. That's an absolute truth. That's because the people shown at the bottom as well as several others in this top tier billionaires club, own Hollywood, the mainstream media, as well as most major websites, either directly or under a long list of umbrella companies, and have used all of these means to create this ideology by which most of the public masses, especially those of the younger generations, to not only agree but also to support and demand all of these absurd ideologies, which is what has led the Western nations, especially the US, to the point that we are at right now and quickly heading toward the total collapse and implosion of our countries. Now you know why Trudeau is for MAID. According to a cost analysis report from the Canadian Medical Association, the implementation of assisted unaliving will save the Canadian healthcare system between $34.7 and $136.8 million per year. Yeah, never mind the fact that this is just one more little link in their depopulation agenda. 
especially concerning the Western nations. Trudeau, when speaking to Canadian truckers versus those people. Men, if DNA confirms the baby is not yours, it doesn't change the fact that you must take responsibility of the baby. The worst part about this, this is not a one-off instance of some person just blabbing on social media, but rather, let's just say this thought process is gaining traction and being pushed by more and more people. So much so that I actually saw a news article about a woman who won a court case against a man even when he had a DNA paternity test done that proved the child was not his. Yet, he was ordered by the judge to pay child support. A man dual wielding raw steaks slaps diners in the face at vegan restaurant yelling, if you don't eat your meat, you can't have any pudding. The things you see on news today, you couldn't make up if you tried. AT&T customers, preppers, Rooster194 come in, over. Hey, there ain't nothing wrong with having backup communications. You're gonna need them one day. Man-made horrors beyond human comprehension. This is getting worse all the time. If you think this is dumb, I've got one that's even dumber that I'll put in the next episode. How many liberals does it take to change a light bulb? None. Trudeau tells them he fixed it, and they all sit in the dark and applaud. This actually applies to a lot of different groups, favorite politicians. Two ways to make a left turn. The obvious way, the bureaucrats way. Her, I'm not like other girls. Her nose ring. Me trying to explain all the ways government sucks. France goes totalitarian. Any criticism of the censored, now a crime punishable with prison. Today, a law was passed in France qualifying any opposition to as a secretarian aberration crime called provocation to abandon medical treatment. It carries a penalty of up to three years imprisonment and 45,000 euros. This new law forbids any criticism of the which will be recommended or made obligatory by the state. Any person who dares to openly criticize these therapies will be liable to fines and imprisonment. Indoor balconies in an apartment building. A balcony without sun or fresh air is just a people shelf. In the past week, we have Bradley Gunners saying they knew where to aim because they played video games and drone aces hunting each other down like the aces of World War I. Man-made horrors beyond comprehension. This is one of the reasons that they created drones, because it disconnects the operator from what they are actually carrying out and doing. I met this Danish guy on the train today, and he said he was visiting the USA because he wanted to see it before it ends. And holy, that was probably the funniest, saddest thing I'll hear all year. And it's only January. Maybe if we tell people the brain is an app, they'll start using it. If you thought Qatar was dystopian, in the U.S. it's literally illegal to walk. 
Hotel guests attending events at MetLife Stadium cannot walk to the stadium and cannot walk back to the hotel from the stadium. It is illegal and dangerous to walk on the roadways surrounding the stadium. Please make the proper transportation arrangements. Cop opened fires on handcuffed suspect after an acorn landed on vehicle. That's no relation to this channel. For those who might not have never seen this, from Ann Landers. I'm not going to read this whole thing, but it's actually pretty good. I'll leave it up on the screen for a few seconds. You can pause the video if you want to take the time to read it. Nuclear war is bad for kittens. If they added puppies to this also, they might have a pretty good chance from stopping it from happening. Kansas City Mayor accuses Governor of racial dog whistle for calling Super Bowl parade shooters thugs. That's right, people. It's now considered racist to call criminals who are trying to unalive people thugs. After I get done tucking my kids in at night, I like to log on to Twitter and get called an incel by guys who wear dresses. Safety notice. Please do not board the bus once the driver has closed the bus doors. Like I've said before, you know why they had to make a sign like this. We are this close to World War Three. A rare look at my blocked list. I don't bother blocking people just for something that they say. Because if people like that wants to open their mouth and show everyone how foolish they are, that's their choice. Teen given $500 check after turning in $135,000 in cash that he found. Now who's just going to happen to lose $135,000 in cash? And on top of that, it looks like it's all in $50 bills. Who even uses $50 bills these days? It was probably either a, we'll just say, illicit substance dealer or some kind of government connection. I just earned $10 billion last month working from home. Ask me how. The New York Times claims that the administrative state, that is, governance by unelected bureaucrats, protects our country and enhances democracy. The so-called federal government just needs to be dissolved and let the states rule themselves again. I support people's choice to street race because it's a victimless crime until they t-bone a family van full of kids unaliving the entire family that's street crashing which i am very against that's one thing about social media you basically get to watch people's thought processes in real time illegals are robbing us assaulting us and bringing into our cities Build the wall. I'm sending your tax dollars to pay for the pensions of Ukrainian bureaucrats, Jack. You know what the biggest problem is? It's not that all these things cost more. It's just that the dollar is worth that much less. Me at five. I want to be an astronaut. Me at 15. I want to be a pro athlete. Me at 25. How expensive is cheese? What did you think they were spraying out of those planes? Vitamins? There's plenty of people that would believe that. Dear environmentalist, 
A climate crisis is when it's negative 40 outside and negative 55 with wind chill. Canadian oil and gas is the solution to these climate crises. Bill C-11 will allow Canada's internet to be censored by unelected bureaucrats. Washington man faces jail for disrupting Rainbow Serpent after building bridge over creek on his property. Mr. Maddox was charged under the unamended 1972 law for building a creek crossing on his property, which the prosecution claimed had disrupted Wagul, a Rainbow Serpent central to mythology for Noongar people as he removed a large amount of silt from the creek. If found guilty, he faces up to nine months behind bars and a fine for $20,000. Since this is a fake creature that only exists in someone's mind, he is literally being charged with a thought crime. More than 30 Harvard students skipped lunch in solidarity with brown protesters. Hey California, how's the housing situation going? It is illegal to live in a cave? Literally 1984. Play of the Year award goes to this license plate is Alberta approved. <laughs> Modern women at their peak. All men are trash. I don't need one. Modern women after they hit the wall. Where'd all the good men go? I wish I had one. This is sad, but it's true for a lot of women in this generation who have been so fooled into this mainstream narrative. I'm not even going to waste my time reading this one. When you're trying to have fun, but you remember that you're a slave living on a tax plantation. According to the Global Energy Monitor, China has 402 new coal-fired power plants under construction. But in the West, we're being told we aren't allowed to have them. Minnesota woman sues dentist after four root canals, eight crowns, and 20 fillings done in a single visit. I couldn't even begin to imagine what the bill would have been. Ask, why do they want to get rid of cash? Unfortunately, it's coming, and probably sooner than most of us think. Electric vehicle owners should only be allowed to charge their cars using wind and solar power. Otherwise, it's just pretend. I'm Acorn, and I approve this message. Remember painting these clouds as a kid? Yeah, me neither. No one is forcing you to work at a job that you hate. I think you will find the threat of starvation and homelessness is fairly coercive. None of his friends are going to believe him. Did you know smoking is good for the environment because it unalives human beings? Insurance companies, when you finally ask them to do their job after paying them thousands of dollars over the years. When I'm blocked, but I got a second account. Mystical references to society and its programs to help may warm the hearts of the gullible. But what it really means is putting more power in the hands of the bureaucrats. This is true. 
Me washing $200 worth of groceries in 2024. And getting worse all the time. Charlotte mail carrier suspended after calling 911 in medical emergency. And yes, this is a real news article. How to keep woke teachers out of classrooms. And I'll end this video with this. Praying in public, reading aloud from Bible, is hate speech to be severely punished. Trudeau government has introduced a bill that could land Christians in prison for quoting the Bible or expressing a traditional faith-based opinion if the Canadian government deems it promotion of hatred or anti-Semitism. And more detail about this, along with related, why are so many countries trying to make undefined hate speech a criminal charge? Ireland hate speech law proposed five years in prison for a meme. France three years in prison, 45,000 euro fine to speak in opposition against any state endorsed pharmaceuticals. Canada proposed life sentence in prison, $70,000 fine for hate speech. You are being silenced. And be sure this is coming to the US guys. At some point, all videos like this will have to be deleted if they're not deleted for us. Because of things like this, and more so currently, because of YouTube's algorithm keyword flagging, is the reason that I use a lot of replacement words in my videos. As I've heard and seen from a lot of other content creators about videos being demonetized, removed, or even entire channels deleted because certain words were used. So, at the present time, while videos like this are still possible, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to help support the channel. I thank you all for watching. This is Acorn, over and out.